Hello all. In today's video, we are going to focus on the telecom billing domain related test scenarios and test cases. So, as if you are uh, if you are planning to work on the telecom domain, so or uh, you, you, you if you get a chance to work related to the telecom billing domain, so basically what will be the different scenarios you can consider and what are the related test cases or test steps you have to follow so we are going to discuss over here so basically in telecom uh, billing we'll consider a different modules like verify the plan activation billing then test uh, test uh, we have to test the call duration then uh, data usage then uh, billing for the value added services then uh, roaming charges then for discounts and promotions and the uh, bill generation and the delivery so these are the basic models which we are going to consider so basically when you you uh, want to write a test cases so before that you must aware about the what are the different test scenarios so for that you are going to consider the different scenarios like verify the plan activation billing right so here to ensure the uh, for uh, plan activation billing here you are going to ensure the correct billing for the plan activation right so what will be the test step like you are going to activate a new plan for a particular subscriber and check the billing details in the subscriber account for that you are going to uh, uh, make uh, for uh, for testing purpose you can activate the plan for one subscriber then what will be the expected result the billing system should reflect the correct charges for the plan activation without any discrepancy then the second module will be the test call duration billing so here the scenario will be to verify the accurate billing for the call duration so what will be the different test step so you are going to place a call for known duration from one subscriber to another and here you are going to check the bill for call duration to the subscribers account means whatever will be the call made you are going to check against the plan means for example for one minute what what will be the charges and according to that the expected result will be the bill which is generated for particular call duration should match to the actual call duration according to the plan or the charge sheet then the next will be the you are going to verify the data usage means how much data your subscriber is using and according to that the bill generated is correct or not so here you are ensuring the accurate billing for the data usage so what are the different test steps here you use a known amount of data for browsing or downloading your subscribe means uh, for particular subscriber you'll use some data for browsing purpose or for downloading something and you are going to check the bill data usage in the subscriber account so the bill data usage should match to the actual data usage without overrating or overbilling or underbilling means whatever will be the data used by the subscriber and according to that the bill must be generated as per the charge sheet then the next module will be billing for the value added uh, services so what are the different value added services so basically the value added services means uh, uh, any extra plans particular subscriber has taken so here the test steps will be uh, for one particular subscriber you can add some value added services like uh, international calling pack or anything so and then utilize that particular service for particular subscriber and check the bill amount for service in the subscribers account then the bill amount should here you are going to check the bill amount should accurately reflect in the usage of the subscribers value added service then the next model will be you are going to verify the roaming charges so here you are going to ensure the billing for the roaming charges right this will be the scenario so here travel to a different region or the country where the roaming charges apply and um, make a calls send message or use data while roaming and check the bill amount for roaming usage in the subscribers account for that so particular uh, uh, to check the roaming there are some tools or the some you can say the commands will be there you can use uh, whatever will be the uh, application which are available in your organization and according to that apply the roaming facility on uh, the subscriber which you are going to test and check whether the charges should reflect accurately or not then the next module will be test billing for the discounts and promotions as you uh, 
subscribe uh, you can say service provider it's providing your discount or promotions so for example uh, any xyz the telecom company or the service provider is giving you a discount for yearly package means uh, mostly it happens na uh, at the start of the year they will give you uh, one package for you can uh, you can purchase this one and you will get this this much amount of discount and for that you are going to verify whether the billing is accurate for that particular discount or promotion offer so here you can uh, apply the discount or promotion offer to a subscriber account then utilize the uh, service coupons or the code which which are provided by the service provider and check the bill amount so here the expected result will be bill must be correct according to the discount we have to check the whatever will be the discount available by you is correctly applied or not then the last module is verify bill generation and delivery so here to ensure the timely and accurate generation and the delivery of bill means whatever will the mode of the bill generation and the delivery must be accurate so here trigger a bill generation process and uh, check generated bill for correctness and completeness and confirm the delivery of bill to the subscriber through uh, channels like uh, email post mail means basically what happens the service provider will mail you a telephone bill right so you have to check whether the you are getting correct mail for correct duration and it is having the correct billing details so bill should be the expected result will be bill should generate accurately and subscriber should uh, receive a specify uh, that spe in specified time frame through selected delivery method means for example as a subscriber i have selected a mode for a mode as a email and uh, uh, it must be necessary part that you must receive a bill at the end of month right it not like that in this particular month your service provider is not sending you a email or the mail, uh, bill for the same and in next month they are say, sending a mail of uh, com mail by combining both the two month it's not proper way so you have to ensure that the mail must be received to the or bill should be generated accurately and it should be received to the subscriber in specified time frame as well as in the specified mode which they have selected so these are the some modules which are related to the telecom billing related telecom billing it's only related with the telecom billing so i request you all i have also made a video on telecom domain related test cases where i have covered the different modules which comes under the telecom domain and here i am specifically focusing on the billing generation so please go through the playlist which i have made for telecom domain related where i have posted the interview questions and answers as well please uh, do like subscribe and comment on which point you want a next video thank you all for watching